General Assembly is making a huge mistake by getting in these fights, and it's going to impact North Carolina's ability to do business. That's Raleigh investor David Meeker, part owner of Trophy Brewing, expressing his concern over recent social legislation. He says bills like the revised SB 90 and the recently passed abortion ban will hurt the state's image as a business haven. If we keep getting into these culture war fights, business owners are not going to want to move their companies here because employees don't want to be here. They want to be in a place where they have options and they can make their own decisions and we're not attacking our librarians, our teachers, or limiting people's access to abortion. Meeker believes that starts with big corporations, but he worries about the little guys too. This will initially impact big businesses moving here, which is really bad too. But when big, big businesses are impacted, it impacts every other business down the line, down to the coffee shop and the restaurant that make Raleigh great. Sam Ratto owns Videri Chocolates in downtown Raleigh. We were just voted one of the best places to do business in America. And the reason we're one of the best places to do business is because we're open to all kinds of people. He says one of the reasons he chose to start a business here is because of that open-mindedness. And he wants lawmakers to stay out of people's personal lives and their businesses. I would hope at some point that we as business owners would understand that bans, restrictions, and limitations go against freedom. Apologies for those audio issues, but we reached out earlier to House Education Co-Chair John Torbett to ask if he had a response to these concerns from business owners. He actually sent us a summary of the bill and the bill in its entirety and asked that we forward it along to those business leaders. We're live in Raleigh, Sean Coffey, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.